Focus Australian Government Photographers is a new exhibition at the National Archives of Australia. It covers six decades of Australian um, photographs taken by Australian Government Photographers. The Government Photographers really came out of the formation of the Department of Information, which was in 1939. When we think about the way that we access information now, if you want to know something about a country in the world, you can go online, you can look it up. In the 1940s, how are you going to find out about a country if you want to deliver a lecture on it, if you want to do a school project on it? And the Department of Information and then the News and Information Bureau had offices all around the world and people would write to them and, and ask and, and get them to follow up on these questions. The National Archives holds close to 11 million photographs and that's, you know, that's fast and huge. We think of archives as being paper predominantly. In all of our exhibitions, we use photographs as illustrations, essentially. But you keep coming up with these names again and again. And I really wanted to spend time with that collection and build up the knowledge we had about who created them. For the government photographers, they often had to cover these sort of very, very serious jobs. So our collection does cover diplomatic meet and greets. It does cover, you know, handshaking and election days and things like that. But the government photographers, they were there full time. That wasn't the only job that they had. So they were also tasked with building a pictorial library of Australia. So one example is under the heading historical relics, you have buildings, you have boats, you have locations, and they're broken down into these tiny sort of subsections. So the government photographer's brief ended up being really, really broad. When you're building an exhibition, you want to visit it, have a nice experience and not feel overwhelmed. So I started focusing on the departments that created government media. And from there, I started looking at um, their diaries and their negative registers and pulling the names out. So with our early photographs, they're quite well attributed, but the later in the collection that you get, and particularly once you sort of hit the 70s, the names start to fall off. So when I started going through the diaries, I started pulling out these names and then we were able to attach them to the works as well through numbers and details that were on the photographs, particularly um, their control symbols. So these were used by the department back when it was kept by them and the archives have kept that numbering system so we could go back and reattribute them. One of the really interesting things that came out when we were working with the photographs is how the exhibition goes from being in black and white to colour over the course of time. But then you can also see, for example, um, there's a photograph from 1970s King's Cross, and the only thing that's recognisable today is the Coca-Cola sign, which has been through multiple iterations. But you can really see the changing face of Australia. We also have the photographer Mervyn Bishop, who was the first First Nations government photographer, and there you really see someone who's getting out in the community and capturing First Nations people through that perspective as well, which I think is really significant. I really wanted someone to come in and look at a photo and see something of their own experience and also maybe reflect on how those experiences have changed over time. The ph photographs take you from the 1940s up to the 1990s, so it isn't you know, just a single generation of photographs. There are multiple generations that can see themselves in this exhibition. I think one of the reasons I proposed it was because I wanted to tell that story and I wanted to recognise the people behind the lens. With government photographers, they're rarely in front of the camera, they're always behind it. So it was really um, important to me to bring their stories out. I really want people to have an appreciation for the collection. I'd like people to feel surprised maybe. And I think reflected and seen, you know, the government photographers were turning their lens on the Australian people, maybe when other people weren't. So I think if people leave feeling, you know, surprised and um, seen, I think that's what I would like for people to leave with.